Whoops. Um, okay, it's recording. So the 15th online party, I'm gonna be doing it with Rachel. You can join the party. You can invite all your potentials that you want. Don't just send it to like every single person on your friend list. Pick and choose people, send them private messages, whatever. Try to pick like 10 people. But if you invite people and people RSVP saying yes, please be there. If you really can't be there for some reason, let your upline know and just be like, hey, keep an eye out for this girl. She's going to be there type of thing. Um, if she has questions, I'll let her know she can come to you. So that's going to be the 15th. The 16th, or sorry, the 22nd is going to be a normal team Zoom on Monday. The 29th is going to be Memorial, Memorial Day weekend. I'm going to be in California. So I'm thinking I'm probably just going to see if any leader wants to do a Zoom or if they want to do a power hour. So I will kind of touch base with my leaders on that. So the 29th is a question mark. The 5th. So all of June, I've got the 5th, the 12th, the 19th, the 26th, all Zooms. The 5th, the 12th, the 19th, and the 26th are all Zooms. And then I'll stop with July. So the 3rd is actually July 4th weekend. So I'm thinking instead of doing a Zoom that day, let's do a power hour on the 5th. So I'm going to do a power hour same time. 6 p.m., 9 p.m., and then the 10th, the 17th, the 24th, the 31st. So the rest of the Mondays are all going to be a team Zoom. So now what I'm going to start doing for the team Zooms is we're going to start having different leaders running them, um, and we're going to have you guys give input on what you want the Zooms to be about. So in talking with the Diamonds and Aboves, they had kind of said something that we keep hearing about is parties. People really want to hear more about parties and tips and yada, yada, yada. So that's why we decided this would be the best for this Zoom. So I'm going to make a post about what you guys want to hear more on Zooms. What is going to help you? Not only what's going to help you, but what's also going to help your team. Okay. So I'm going to stop there with July, but basically those are the dates so far that we have so that you can pencil them in, keep your team updated. I'm going to put, put, Post all this stuff on the team page but sometimes things get lost so that's why I wanted to make sure that you guys that are on right now have those dates um okay so I'm trying to see okay so Beth would you want to start or do you want me to start with my tips for parties I can start okay sure go ahead um I think one of the most important things is to be consistent and don't be afraid to keep inviting people over and over. Um, when Pam Sauter tells her story about network marketing, um, when she first got into the industry, she was invited week after week after week after week to a party and finally just went so the guy would stop asking her to go and look at her now. You know, if he would have just given up on her and not invited her back a second or third time or whatever, she might not be the queen of raps now so i think just not being afraid because it's kind of awkward you know when someone tells you no it's kind of awkward to reinvite them but just think about pam and um stay consistent with that um let's see also um be confident i think when you have some kind of when you have a party or a gathering or whatever we're going to call them I think being confident in yourself, not saying you have to have every single answer or know every single product in and out, but just hold yourself and be confident so people really, you know, you can really show people that you enjoy this and you do know what you're talking about, even if you don't always, <laughs> but just, you know, being confident, I think, in front of your friends or whatever is important. Another one is to always assume the sale. Don't, you know, don't give them a choice. And that's another thing that's really awkward because you hate people to feel like they're obligated to buy something. But whenever you get invited to a party, jewelry, candle, clothes, you know you're going to buy something. So why aren't our guests the same way? So, I mean, I always think, you know, like Stephanie Dunn, this is a big one, she always says, she'll give them two order forms. She'll give them the LC and the DT. And just like it says in the party pad, what's your choice? Which one are you going to, are you going to choose today? And she said if they'll like if they start questioning or saying things about like say the distributor side, she'll take the order form right away from them and be like, you know, 
okay, well, that's not for you. And then they're like, whoa, 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 whoa wait a minute. And it's just being confident and, and assuming that that sale per se is another one. Um, don't feel like you have to go all out. It really just needs to be water there for people that are wrapping or some samples. And I think that's another thing. People get overwhelmed. Like I know when I had my lunch party and two people came, one being pregnant that couldn't even wrap, I had, you know, felt like I had to have food and all this stuff. And it's really, you really don't. Parker, no, no. I mean, it just needs to be really simple and casual. And I don't know, how many was that for? Yeah. Um, oh, I think engaging in your social media is really important. I love um, when people say things like, you know, if you post that you're at this party or whatever right now and your friends like it, you know, you can put them in a drawing for a free wrap or whatever, and then that's connecting you. And then also now, of course, with going live, you know, you can show people how much fun we have and how simple it is. And then another thing is to stick to the party pad. There's a reason that we're super successful and there's a reason that that's out there. Just, we don't need to complicate things. It doesn't need to be more than like 20 minutes. And yeah. there's a ton of videos of really, of people doing it and presenting it really well. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the last two that you shared were on my list as well. Mm -hmm. um, engage in social media. So have a make a post, you know, that type of thing. I feel like that always is a great thing. And then people, sometimes I even say, well, tag me in it. And I don't accept it to be on my wall, but if people start commenting, oh my God, what is this? Or whatever it may be, whatever you posted, whatever they posted, um, you can go friend those people and then send them a message if they do have questions. So um, it's just a way to really build your network as well. Um, and in regards to sticking to the party pad, um, super important. And I went to a one team, one mission two nights ago and they do the party pad for you. Like that's what a one team, one mission as a, as a leader, if I was to do a one team, one mission, we have to talk about the party pad. It's part of what a one team, one mission is all about. So if you really are not confident with that, find a one team, one mission in your area. They are all over the place. Go into the wired app, go to, what is it? Um, social, I think, and then click on one team, one mission. And you can find the closest one that's in your area. Um, and they're always popping up. So I'm actually doing one here in a couple months, hopefully if everything kind of comes together, you have, they have to talk about the party pad. So going and taking notes and watching somebody else do it is always a good thing too. So awesome. Thanks Beth. All right. So I took notes of what Beth was saying and I just posted it in the comments. Parker. Hey, you good? Dang it, his movie went off. Son of a nutcracker. Uh, Terry, do you want to go next? Do I want to go next? Of course. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm, I'm a, like Beth. Um, you know, just kind of be up front with people. Invite them if they come. If they don't, then say, okay. Um, maybe next time you could, you could join us, you know. Um, okay, I'm coming. Uh, let me think. You know, like you, like Beth said, you don't have to go all out. You don't have to be extravagant. Just, uh, you know, have people come and and sit around and explain the products to them. Um, I guess that's pretty. Beth covered quite a bit of it, so I guess that's pretty much it. Okay. Um, does anybody have anything else to share before I kind of go into mine? Or I'll do mine, and then if anyone has anything to share or any other questions, we can go do that. How's that? Okay. All right. So I just wrote down a couple. Apparently it got louder. Or just making a mess with this food. Okay, so I have follow the party pad. <laughs> um, have fun. I feel like my first um, launch party... I was scared out of my mind and I was so scared because in all honesty, I really didn't know what I was doing. I wasn't confident. I wasn't comfortable with what I was talking about. I, I was nervous because I wanted people to see results with the rap. And as much as I knew, like I was supposed to assume everyone would rap, I knew they were coming to support me. 
So I didn't want to expect that of them. So the, the launch party can kind of be a little, a little stressful because you don't feel as confident and comfortable as you want to be. So take the time. I will say with me, with my launch party, only three people came. Nobody wrapped you guys. One person took a wrap home with them. Like it was so awkward. I was like, Oh, that was really bad. What am I doing? Like I should quit right now. Like it was a hot mess. So I could have quit and said that really sucked. What did I just do? What just happened? Do what just happened? Hang on. It's, it's, I'm going to mute everybody because I'm, 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 I think it's because Tiffany's on two. Um, okay. So I could have basically quit or I could have said, all right, let's try this again. Let's like figure this out. Here's what I did. I knew I wasn't comfortable. I knew I wasn't confident. So I learned, I learned about the products. I learned about the business. I got creative in how I shared the fact that I was having a party. I shared it on social media before I just was like word of mouth, like talk to a couple people. And honestly, I had just moved here like a couple months prior. So I was thinking I was crazy for even trying to do this launch party I was supposed to do because I didn't even know anybody. Um, so I basically invited wives of the people that my husband works with. Um, so I ended up doing another party. 14 people came. Gosh, I think I, I had like eight people wrap at least, at least eight to 10 people wrap a couple customers and, um, a couple potentials. I didn't have any distributors sign up, but, um, I did have potentials from it. So second party went a lot better because I got smarter. I put the time and effort in to actually learn about the products, learn about the business. And I, sh and you know what I did too, is I said, invite somebody and you're going to go into a drawing. That first wrap party, like I didn't have a giveaway. I didn't have like a anything. I just started. So I didn't really know like what to do. So I said, invite a friend and you get an extra entry into my drawing, whatever. Um, and that was, that went really well. I had people here that I didn't even know. So that was, that was good. Um, so I wrote, the next thing I wrote was be creative to get more people there. So do whatever you have to do bring a friend and you get an extra entry into the drawing, whatever. So for me, I would probably create an event on Facebook and then I would put a basket together. Not a ton of stuff. You guys like a wrap and a couple greens on the go and maybe a, a green water bottle you found at the dollar store. Like who cares? It doesn't have to be a ton of stuff. Um, and honestly, if you just started and you just want to do a couple greens and a water bottle, that can be it. It doesn't have to be anything extravagant, but take a picture of it, post it, and say, this is what you win if you, you know, bring more people or bring every, for every person you bring, you get an extra entry or whatever it may be. Um, <laughs> I feel like I keep going into my next one. Use social media to reach more people. Okay. So I kind of just talked about that. Um, Beth kind of touched on this, but of course, engaging with the social media aspect, but you guys so huge not only to get them to post, like I kind of already talked about, but go live during the party. Not only is it funny and awkward, but everybody there, like if I'm being honest, like if I had five people, um, I could tag every single person that's at the party. I could go live. Now think about it. That's going out. I'm going live, not only on my team, on my own page, but now I'm going live on all of their pages. So it's popping up on all their pages. So basically by the time I get done doing a three, four minute quick video, honestly, think about how many viewers you're gonna have. You're going to have at least over a hundred. I can pretty much guarantee that. So if I was to go live, because some people right now are thinking, okay, well, if I did go live during a party, what the heck do I say? Maybe something, I would probably go at the end of the party. Um, so people maybe have like good results and uh, maybe somebody tried the greens and they loved it. Maybe somebody tried the shake and they were like, holy crap, this really does taste like a, a cupcake or whatever people say, um, cupcake or cake batter. Um, so if I was to go live, here's what I would do. I would take my phone and I would go around and let everybody say hi. Why am I doing that? I'm giving time to allow people to actually hop on the video. Okay. Without being like, Hey, so anyways, this is what we're doing. Blah, blah, blah. I'd go around. I'd make everybody say hi. 
and then bring in what just happened to the party. So I'd probably turn it back on me and be like, so we're here live at the party. We've been having so much fun. So we just wanted to share with everybody, but I wanted to share a couple of things with you. So I just did a fat fighters demonstration for everybody and they absolutely loved it. Who thinks it was pretty awesome? What did you guys think? Engage with them, get them like involved in it. Um, going to be like, we tried the greens on the go. So and so almost spit them out because they looked so gross. But then as soon as she tried it, it was very, and you know, she, whatever, have fun with it, bring whatever happened into the party into that live video. And then you can say something at the end to get people to comment. So maybe something like I'm doing a drawing here at the, <laughs> he's so he's a greasy mess he's eating pasta with butter and he's like it's all over his face he's so greasy um sorry <laughs> squirrel so at the end maybe say something like if you are interested in getting a free wrap and entering into our drawing comment me below like i just made that up i don't know i'm just saying like do something because you literally are going to have at least 100 viewers if you tag all those people in your video okay then for the next couple of days after that party, not only are you following up with the people that RSVP to say yes and didn't make it, but you're also following up with the other people that maybe just didn't RSVP, but you knew that they may be interested. Hey, just wanted to touch base with you. I'm getting orders in for the party. Um, I'm closing everything out on Sunday. Does that sound weird? Yeah, that does sound weird because you know why? We don't close out parties. We don't close out parties like Unique does. Um, I don't know who else does it, but when I'm talking to somebody else, they close out parties. We don't close out parties, but you know what? It's a way of stressing urgency and it's a way of getting people to jump and say, okay, sure, I'll get my order in before you close it out on Sunday, whatever it may be, okay? Does that all make sense? Is that all kind of good? Okay. Um, all right. Are you all done? Make sure you wrap people the right way with pictures. Here's the thing. When I first started, guys, we didn't do pictures. We did measure tape, measuring tape. Like it was like very weird. Um, so make sure you do it the right way. If you're just getting started and you're not really sure, then you got to ask. So for me, when people come, I have them fill out a paper. And now I say what when people come, because honestly, I have a ton of parties at my house. I invite people to my house. Even if I say, hey, do you want to have a party? And they're like, oh my God, my house is so small. I can't like, let's have it here. Always. They're like, oh, that's a good idea. You really sure? You okay? I'm like, yeah, I don't care. Bring all your friends. Think about it, you guys. So, um, Parker. Um... So make sure that you are wrapping people the right way. So when people get, to get in, I have them sign in to say what area they want to wrap. Most people will say the belly, okay? So what I do is I take people into the bathroom, I take a picture of the front, have them turn on the side, take a picture on the side. Now, some people like it on their phone, but I always make sure I take pictures on my phone too because I like to put it in a collage. Don't ever be like, oh, here's your picture, swipe, there's your other picture. No, put it in a collage so they can see the side by side right next to each other. Um, make sure as you're putting the wrap on, talk to them about it. Be like, so how this works is da -da 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 -da, okay? Talk to them about what's going to be happening. It's gonna be cool, you're gonna feel it tingling. It smells like Ben Gay, whatever you wanna say. Wrap them up, but tell them, listen, I'm gonna be putting fab wrap on you right now, but if you decide to get more wraps, you can just use saran wrap or use a tight tank top, like talk to them about stuff. Get them drinking water. Water is key. Water is so important. I always tell people, I'm going to challenge you right now to drink at least three, if not four bottles of water. I like to challenge people because everyone likes a good challenge. Then for me, if I'm really like in the zone, I have a big party or whatever, I have note cards and I write their time on it and I just hand it to them. Um, I actually did that a lot when I started because I always wrote down measurements. Um, so I wrote down the time as well. So make sure they know, okay, it's four o'clock. So the wrap can stay on, you know, we'll keep it on till four forty-five, five o'clock. Um, so when they take it off, take their after pictures, talk to them about it, say it's going to continue working for three days, keep drinking water, keep eating healthy. Um, and then I want you to take pictures again after those 72 hours 
And I want you to send them to me because I have your before pictures and I want to really compare those and then I'm going to send them back to you. And then you guys, you know what, even if she doesn't walk away as a customer at that party to get more wraps, when she sends me those after pictures, after those three days, I'm going to say, okay, listen, you saw a little bit of a difference, which is great, but one wrap is a treat, four wraps is a treatment. Do you want to finish this treatment? Most people are going to say, yes, I would like to finish that treatment. So, okay, great. Let's get you started as a customer and you can, you know, get my discount and you'll get a box of wraps. Great. Awesome. If they were at all interested in the business side of things, then you could always say, hey, get your box of wraps, finish your treatment, and then honestly, get started for $40 more. You can start your own business and start making some money. So that's something I kind of bring into. Um, like Beth said, at the end, give them the option. Don't say, well, do you want to become a customer? Don't give them the option of saying no. And as much as that may sound awkward and weird, the more that you do it, it's very natural just to say, so what, what is, what is more for you? Are you more interested in one of the products? So becoming a customer or are you more interested in, um, get, making some money and using the products by becoming a distributor? That's an, like as a teacher, especially as a special ed teacher, we always gave kids choices. They felt like they were in control. They felt like they got to make a decision and then they were really excited. Like, I know this is really stupid, but if I had a red pen and a blue pen, I'd be like, which one do you want to use? Do you want to use the blue one or the red one? Well, they're, they're excited that they get to like pick which one they want to use. Okay. So in my special ed brain, that's kind of like <laughs> how, how like psychology, my type of stuff works. So give them options at the end. Is loyal customer more up your alley or is distributor up your alley more? Which one, whatever. Give them options, let them decide. Let them be in control. Don't forget to share the business opportunity. And I say this because I did not for a couple of months. And here's why. I was very afraid to share the business opportunity because I was always afraid somebody was going to ask me how much money I was making. And when you first start out, you're not making a lot of money. So I was very um, nervous about that. Now, if somebody would have just said to me, just show them the income chart and say I'm working towards Ruby, which is $600 a month. If somebody would have told me to say that, I would have shared it with a lot more people. But I was so afraid that they would ask me that question. So don't forget to do that. Um, if you're doing an online party, do not forget to message people. And honestly, if you're creating an event online to have people come to your house or whatever it may be, still private message people and ask them. I'm telling you, I can't count how many parties I get invited to you guys. And I literally go, nope, 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 nope. It is obnoxious. I get so irritated with it. But here's, guess what? My friend that lives in California, she sent me a text message. Hey, I'm having an us born party. Would you mind if I sent you an invitation? Okay. I'm going to be totally like blunt. My kid has a shit ton of books. Like I'm not even kidding you, you guys, like tubs of books. I'm a teacher. So my classroom, basically like they closed down my special ed classroom. So I basically took everything with me. He has like three tubs of books. I don't need books, <laughs> but I love them, but he doesn't need any. But my friend asked me privately to come to her party. I went to her party. I said, sure, go ahead and invite me. I bought two books for him. So no, I didn't need to, but if you go to a party, so in my mind, if she would have just invited me on Facebook, I, I would have just pressed decline, but she sent me a text message. She was personal and she asked me if I want an invitation before she even sent me an invitation. So think about stuff like that when you're kind of like inviting people. Um, what if don't have, oh, <laughs> sorry, spelling it auto-corrected everything. If you don't have the answers because you just started, you guys, if you're at a party and they're like, so how long do these results last? And you're like, oh my God, I don't know how to answer that question. Like, honestly, like I just started, like, let me go ahead and post on my team page. And honestly, within a couple minutes, like I'll have an answer for you. Get on your phone, go to the team page, message your upline, whatever you have to do. Hey, what do I say when someone asks me how long the results last? You're gonna get an answer because our team is amazeballs. You're gonna, gonna get an answer within probably 
five minutes, if not 10 minutes. Okay. So don't be afraid to say, Oh gosh, really? I'm not really sure. Let me check with my team. Um, okay. So before I share the last, last thing, does anyone have anything else to share about parties? Um, I'm going to answer Jenna's question here real quick. Um, she said tips on how to book parties. Honestly, the best way for me, I would say is asking people. Um, I don't get a ton of stuff when I post on Facebook. Um, I feel like it's a domino effect. So if I get Jenna to throw me a part, to throw a party and Jenna brings all of her friends here, whatever, I'm going to have some type of incentive for people to book another party. So maybe I'll say, okay, everybody that books a party right now is not only going to get their free wrap, but they're also going to get blah, 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 blah. Give them an incentive to book a party right then. Don't give them any free product right then. Wait until they have their party and then go ahead and do that. Um, Leslie, do you, I feel like Leslie's like on a roll right now with booking parties and she's like a rock star party girl right now. Leslie, do you have any tips on how you got those parties booked or what are your thoughts there? You there? You just unmuted yourself, but. Leslie? She unmuted herself, but I can't hear her. Okay. Your um, sound, I have a feeling your sound is off on your end. So maybe just share tips in the comments if you can. Um, but I think Leslie had has like four parties already booked for this month. So she's like totally on a roll there. So my biggest thing is once you get a party booked, so challenge yourself, get one party booked within the next couple of weeks. Then from that party, get another one booked and then another one booked and another one booked. Have it be a domino effect. Um, I remember Megan said, Megan Hazen, presidential, said that she would literally not allow anybody to leave her party unless somebody booked a party. She would stand at the door and say, sorry, no one's leaving until somebody in here books a party. So who's it going to be? That's what she would do. So that's a funny way of doing it. Um, but it worked for her and she killed it guys. She went presidential in 13 months just by doing parties. So she killed it. Leslie, you I'm there? I'm so sorry. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you now. I'm so sorry. I was on no, my phone okay. and I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> no, you're good. Um, so I was able to book the parties through the expo that, um, I worked and the best advice I got was from Sarah. I forgive me. I don't remember her last name, but anyone who signed a, a slip for the free wrap, um, we had texted or I had texted and I said, congratulations. I just conducted my drawing and you were one of the winners. Please contact me to, to claim your prize. And undoubtedly, you know, they reply and they all wanted to know what they won. And then I said, you received a free, um, or you received a spa party for three to five of your friends for free chin wraps. And I didn't mind doing the chin wraps. You could do whatever you wanted to. But I didn't mind the chin wraps because you can take one wrap and cut it into six. And if they're inviting three to five, you've got six people there. Wow, that's so, a great idea. I love that. So that's actually how I was able to um, make the party schedule. That's awesome. I love that tip. I think that's a great one. Um, does anybody have anything else that they want to share before I share my last little tidbit? Good? Okay. Oh. Parker says hi. Um, okay. So something that the diamonds and above, we wanted to do this because here's the thing. And I'm just going to be like really blunt. Once again, a lot of people get started in this business. My husband hates when I talk with my hands. Is it really that annoying? <laughs> He's like, stop talking with your hands. I'm like, now I lost my train of thought. Um, so we were talking, um, and we were kind of saying like, People get started in this business and they think that they can just literally like throw up posts on Facebook and they're going to be like rolling in the money. Doesn't work that way. Not everybody is good with social media. Number one, if you're going to be good at social media and you're going to get enrollments from social media, you have to have a network. So if your network is not at, honestly, 
Like if it's not at 600, you got to get it to 600 fast. But if you are at a thousand, then you're sitting like, okay, well, I got a pretty good network. I'm going to focus on this, but continue to build your network. You guys, you got to be adding at least, at least 10 people a week. Like that is like the bare minimum. If you can do 20 people a week, awesome. Now, if you really want to get into like talking about like how to build your network, that's a whole nother like Zoom. So I'm kind of like going off of a soapbox here. So anyways, the leaders were talking and saying, too many people are basically sitting behind their computers and hoping for something to happen. Well, that's not going to happen for everybody. So we were thinking, let's do a wrap party competition. Who's going to get the most wrap parties scheduled, okay? So if you can do one party a week, that's four parties. If you can do two parties a week, that's eight parties, okay? You can do them online. <laughs> hey, Lord have mercy. Terry, come take your grandson, Lord. So you can do them online, you guys, but if I'm being completely honest, I rarely even get customers from online parties. I really feel like it's just about planting seeds when I do online parties. When I have people here, they see my excitement, they feel my excitement, they're here, they can touch the products, they can, you know, ask questions in person, 100% better when you do a, an in-person party. So our competition is going to be the month of May, so the rest of this month, um, who can have the most wrap parties scheduled. If you had a party already this month, it counts. So I'm going to make a post. And what you have to do is you have to, I'm going to put it all in the post, but you have to say the date of your party and then you have to share the success of that party. You have to say, I got two customers. Honestly, if you don't get any customers, who cares? But I wrapped two people, made $50 wrap cash. Awesome. Lots of potentials. Great. But not only share the date and you can say, Hey, I got one scheduled for the 23rd, write it. And then come the 23rd, make sure you share how that party went. So in order to get an entry into the drawing, basically, that's kind of what has to happen. Um, so that's our challenge. We have to have lots of wrap parties because we want to get out from behind our computer. This is a belly to belly business. That's how this started. That's what it's all about. And that's what we have to kind of go back to. I feel like a lot of people are just depending on social media and it's not going to work for everybody. Question, Leslie, um, question on parties. How far out do you schedule? That's a really good question. Now, personally, I started, I created an event for Monday, okay? So in one week, I have a wrap party. I'm going to start probably adding people to that event on like Wednesday. So I'll create an event knowing, okay, we're gonna have an event this time, but I still want to have time to message people, follow up with people. I don't want to like put off people signing up for an entire week. Does that make sense? So I want to be able to have time to follow up with people. And then all those people that say, oh, not yet. Or, oh, I need a little bit more time. Then, excuse me, then I will say, hey, why don't you go ahead on Wednesday when I'm talking to people? Because honestly, follow up is key. Follow up is like where everybody gets signed up. As I'm messaging people, if somebody's like, no, not right now, then starting Wednesday, I will have something saying, and I'll just probably copy and paste something. Well, not a problem at all, but I'm having a wrap party on Monday night, and I'm wondering if you would like an invite. That's it. Okay. So I don't even do it a week out. I won't even invite people starting tomorrow. So I wait probably like five days. Any other questions about parties? One more thing, I hate calling them parties. I really hate calling them parties. So I want us to try to be creative because when you say a party, I feel like um, Tupperware really ruined this for us. Pampered Chef really ruined that for us. People get so afraid when you say the word parties. So um, give me two seconds. I messaged all my leaders at one point. Oh, it's that, I was already in the chat. Um, I posted in my leaders groups and said, what are some creative ways of saying rap party? So I said, gathering, spa night, wine and wraps. That's what I said. And then other people said, appointments with a few friends. Guys, think about it. Hey, do you want to schedule an appointment with me? 
bring a couple friends. It doesn't have to be called a party. That parties, the word party scares people. Education night, sample night, facials and wine, ladies pamper night. Find something else other than parties. Somebody else said uh, a get together, a fun night out, relaxation with friends. Eh, those are okay, but I feel like the other ones are more like you're not totally lying about what it is. Like facials and wine, it's going to be an it works party, people. Ladies, pamper night, we're going to pamper you. It's kind of, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. But I don't know, fun night out. I mean, I tell you right now, I probably would never call it a fun night out because like as much fun as I am. And all, but. <laughs> um, other people said rap function. Jenna said a uh, healthy happy hour and a sip and sample. I like them. Very nice. So, and usually whenever I have a party here, I always have wine. So if my, my title will always probably have wine. All right, my kid is done. He's been good actually. So any more questions before we wrap it up? Um, corporate call is in 15 minutes. Thank you guys so much for being on. I appreciate it. You guys good? Here, let me unmute everybody so you guys can like. All right, let me see.